that he proposes to streamline the immigration process and provide a, a road to citizenship for for immigrants who, who, who want to come to America. He knows that the system is broke down. He knows that the system is bogged down, but there has to be a system. He just can't come into the United States and 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 decide to stay in, in terms of uh, giving. And, and that's a big problem for us here. To to it affects the security of the United States. Immigration is a big problem. Foreign policy. Uh, we can we can dive into that when, whenever you're ready. I think. Uh, Donald Trump has got, uh, he realizes that Hillary has been following the same policies. It's very political in terms of not upsetting and foreign nations. And Donald Trump wants to take the bull by the horns, establish foreign policy for the security of the United States, and can try to control all the different crises around the world and and enable the United States to take the lead, but also allow other governments to, to also carry their own weight. Do you think that his plan to build a wall is feasible? And is he realistic considering the present immigration situation in the country? Take a look at, take a step back, you know, there is a wall already. It's not as, as, as big or as secure as uh, what he professes it to be uh, right now, but I think he, he's able to work on that. But that wall, uh, there are certain sections on the border that are already up, and it depends. And I think he can, he can, he might not be able to project a wall as quickly as most people um, think, oh, as, as most people imagine. But he is going to, to establish some sort of control measure on that border. He's going to reinforce the wall sections that are already there. And maybe there's some sort of virtual technology where it doesn't have to be a physical wall. It, it depends on the budget, and, and there's, there's so many things in available now in order to secure that border that uh, a physical wall may not be uh, may not be necessary although there are again there are sections of a physical wall across that border between the United States and Mexico mm -hmm. and speaking of foreign relations and let's talk about Russia how true is it that he's being supported by Vladimir Putin oh <laughs> that's going to be uh, I'm not uh, qualified to say that, but in terms of my own perception, whether or not the Russians are, are you know, allegedly performing those hacks in, into, in, in cyberspace, I know they have the capability, capability to do it. The United States has the capability to do it. Uh, I don't know if they're actually doing it on, at the direction of Putin in, in support of Donald Trump, but the perception, let's talk about perception. The perception, if the perception is that he's being held, helped by the Russian government, I would take that as a good thing in that the Russians support this man. That the, the Russians, I believe, respect a strong figure. They respect a person who can direct the country and, and allow a means for the, the country to progress. Whether or not uh, the, the cyber attacks are being held by Russia, uh, you know, I don't, I can't really stand in a position to confirm or to deny that, that allegation. But if the perception is that the Russians are in support of Donald Trump, then I think that is a, is a positive thing. And what do you think will be the impact of the WikiLeaks? on this uh, 2016 presidential elections? Uh, every time they put something out, I kind of look forward to it because Hillary, you know, those emails that she deleted, those emails that, that are popping up here and there, 
and those, and I can't find a better word to describe it, those lies 